Images have always been worth a thousand words, but did you know how social media revolutionized the use of the digital image from an object of influence to a tool that sparks change for good and for evil? In the mid-90s to the early 2000s, film photography was turned upside down by the digital photography through 35 millimeter quality digital image. Before social media, media outlets controlled which images were seen and how often they were shared. We relied on the media to tell us which images were the most important ones, and those became the iconic images of our time. Now, with social media, everyone holds the power to influence with images. How does that work? Consider Facebook. Each image we share becomes our own personal documentary, with our friends' reactions, shares, and comments. Our timelines become filled with these contextual timestamps that build up over our lifetime, allowing our personal stories to become part of a massive collection of shared history. With this new sea of imagery, how do some rise to the top to become a tool for change? One thing hasn't changed. Images that spark emotion tend to hold the most power. Many studies have even looked at how images of war and violence are so emotionally charged that the images themselves, rather than the facts behind it, become a defining artifact in our culture's collective memory. Within the context of social media, this power can be wielded for good or for bad. Let's look at an image of Alan Kurdi, a deceased three-year-old boy on a Turkish beach during the 2015 refugee crisis. Within 12 hours of being shared on Twitter, the image had been retweeted 30,000 times and reached the screens of 20 million people worldwide. This sparked a massive fundraising effort and support for this cause. Just as it can be a tool for good, the image in the form of the digital meme can be dangerous to the society. It can be used as a tool to incite violence among hate groups. An example is the popular meme, Pepe the Frog. Facebook has taken steps to ban the iconic meme used in the context of hate. It's important that we develop real-time ways of tracking fringe group activity through hateful meme sharing. It allows us to gain insight about fringe communities that can house violent tendencies, use images to spark violent actions, and in a very circular way, inspire actual real-world violence that causes the creation of new images of violence and can unfortunately become the future iconic images in our collective memory. We now hold more power than ever to influence with images. How might we leverage this power for good?